I respect this man and I still respect him. But what he did, I do not respect. This issue has been going on for 22 years because we know the magnitude of it. He knows the magnitude of it. And he said he was willing to do anything to ensure that the needful is done. When this issue came, I realized how ignorant this person is. First and foremost, I'm not your regular people that come on social media seeking clout. I used to respect you as a journalist. What you do is that you investigate the issue. You research into the issue to find out where is this coming from. Who, who are you talking about? So this issue was never supposed to come out. My father just wanted to sit with you. Then we deal with this issue quietly. Nobody would have heard this. This wouldn't have come this far. What was done is a spiritual thing. I don't have anything against Christians. You realize this is not a battle between Christians. and No, it's not that kind of thing, right? This is an act that has been done, something that has been done. And it's only unfortunate that the person that did it is a, 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 a high figure in Christendom. So quickly, come. I am the chief high priest of Unyamekesi. My father is the chief high priest of Aminra. What's the I didn't come here to play today. I traveled away from Accra to meet Sofuko Jubento. There's a trending issue online. I watched it myself. I received countless of calls. Uh, Pastor Kofi from the camp of uh, uh, Reverend Sam Crunchy, Anka Kourni, so many media guys are calling, sharing their sentiments as to what is running online, and people are just calling back to back. So this is my home. I call it my home because anytime I want to come here, I am welcome to, to, to this particular environment. So I take it on myself because Apostle General Sam Crunchy Anka is somebody well known in the Christian fraternity. Uh, he has held so many positions in, the, in this country as far as the Christian faith is concerned and the, one of the biggest communications in the country. So when you hear anything about him, the first thing is that, how? Why should this happen? Why should this banter and here and there? And I know also Bent is also a spiritualist. He has also been in the Christian faith before. So what was going on? I, I watched it. I want us to take our time and watch the video again. And I'll talk to him to explain why all these. Probably today you have answers. But people were just talking about what they had, taking from their point of view. It's not about your point of view again. We want to hear from the host woman. That's why I came all the way from Accra to come and ask. Please tag Apostle General Sam Crunchy Ankara. Tag Royal House Chapel in this particular video. I want them to watch as members. Let us go into detail what it is. Uh, I had uh, Sofu promising Monday I'll be out again. I give him out to Monday. I want to know all these things. Why? What, is it necessary? All the questions you want to hear, I will ask them for you. I'll be right back as we go deeper into this conversation. But then, let's first watch the video. San Panchankra, we are seeking justice. And nobody from the Christian council, no pastor, no bishop, archbishop, should come and say cease fire. See, I am ready to cease fire. Even before I started, I was seizing fire. I said, I'm coming after you. And the reason why I'm coming after you is because you did something against my family. You did something against my mother. Should I mention the cars? Should I mention the cars that was bought for you? And it will, take, it will cost you to do a lot before you can get me to react. This one, I'm not reacting, no. I'm attacking Sam Kanchankra. If God is the creator, mm. if God created the same, you see, I'm not even mentioning my God. The same God you mentioned, the same Bible you use, mm. which we all know what is behind it now, that didn't come for that. But if the God in your church mm. and Jesus mm. that died for your congregation, well, that died on your cross, mm. if Jesus is alive, mm. And if this Jesus is a what? man of truth, huh? and if this God what? is alive, mm. and he is who he is, mm. I know my God too. Mm. This is Unyame Kesi, he's coming mm. for you. Mm. Tobin Yibla is coming for you. Ra mm. is coming for you. Mm. This, this is, they are coming. You mm. are not, you will not know peace. What? But this one, I, mm. also Kodyo mm. I am coming for you. Mm. For doing this in my house, what? you lifted a horn, they said the horn stands for justice. Sam Kwanchankra! Abba come here. Sam Kwanchankra has done a thing against my family. Yeah. I'm not ready to say anything. Yeah. Because if I say it, yeah. all the congregation will be. Yeah. I know pastors that have left your church yeah. because they have seen this yeah. coming. Yeah. Huh? 
I'm yeah. not going to go into details. This video is not for details. This video, I'm already praying. San Pachanka. Yeah. Botoko. Yeah. San Pachanka. Yeah. Botoko. Yeah. San Pachanka. Yeah. Yeah. If San Pachanka says, yeah. he has not wronged my mother. Yeah. If San Pachanka will say, yeah. he did not do what he did. Yeah. Leave him alone. Yeah. Let him go scot free. Yeah. Let nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know he has done it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I know he did it. Yeah. Listen, come, let's talk peace. Yeah. You know my mother's number. Yeah. Come, let's talk peace. Yeah. If you don't come for peace yeah. to be said, yeah. the next 49 days is me and you in this yeah. country. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, if what I'm saying is true, if I'm in the right, yeah. Bochoko, yeah. Accept this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm in the wrong, yeah. if what I'm doing is wrong, yeah. if some contemporary is innocent, yeah. don't accept this. Yeah. When you are going into a house to do, you see, the sad thing is that she took care of you. And you didn't have a car. She took care of you when you did. And you do this to us. Huh? You do this to us. I'm done. Welcome back. Sofo, I'm going to That's it. Good. Good. I'm great. Are you sure? We just tired because we always working. No, no, I'm not talking about. It. I'm talking about <laughs> is everything okay? No, everything is fine. You're everything. trending everywhere, and um, I, will, I just ah, where from this? Because I left here at the end. I, I was everything was calm, and all mm. of a sudden you're all over the internet on a, a known pastor in Ghana, Apostle General Sam Kranchankra. I know you give me a lot of respect. Uh, he's somebody I know. I know because of your faith. When we do interviews, mm. you mention so many pastors and give them the respect. So the way you were talking, uh, we were quite surprised. Tell us, mm. what is the problem? Um, the way you're angry with uh, coke, um, alcohol, pray, it, was, it was something else. Talk to us. What is it? Um, first and foremost, I always give thanks to the energies around me. I want to give thanks to Togba I say thank you to my father. And uh, what most people don't know is Togba Ibn is Amin Ra. And Amin Ra is a god of the world. So every faith, every belief, every religion, whatever it is, name them, they are all under Togba Ibn, Amin Ra. Without him, no single prayer is answered in this room, regardless of your faith. So I say thank you, Togbe. He's my father too. Oh yeah, Mekasikro. He says he's landed in Ghana. We are grateful. We are Mekasikro. Very soon, um, I was trying to be open to everybody. Come and pray. Don't we don't come and pray. Say your prayers. You can come with an offering, whatever. You don't even need to see me. It's a prayer grounds for everybody that is coming in to pray. So I say thank you to all the energies around. There are a lot, you know. I mean, let me just go straight to the point. Um, I respect every person on the face of the earth. Even the youngest, the smallest child. I give absolute respect to such a one. Because in life, you will never know who the creators have endowed to lift you up to the next level. So you can never look down on anybody. You can never disrespect anybody. You can never dishonor anybody. Even most that a lot of people don't pay attention to ignore, even so-called mad people and all of that. I respect everybody. I'm one of them people. So of course, I, I, like you said, I came out of Christianity I love my bishop to be today. I honor him still. I respect every person. Archbishop Duncan Williams, Bishop Arjun Asari, um, Daki Ward Mills, Taki Aboy. I love Taki Aboy. He's one of the people that spoke over me. I respect everybody. Uh, Isu Danaba, uh, uh, their names, Osu Benpa. I respect um, Bofo and I respect everybody. Pambo, all the names. I respect everybody. 
So if you paid attention to the video, I even said in my video that Apostle Jenner is one of the people that I grew up on. If you say that, what do you want to mean? When I, I got born again, when I was just 17 years old, going to 18, he used to be one of the people that I would pray to at his prayer. He used to come on GTV. Everybody that has followed him, when you say GTV, you know you followed him for long. Okay, so, he, so you, you mean not necessarily being under his uh, no, not in, office, but no, then no. you watch him. I watch him on TV. I get it. I get it now. When everybody would uh, mention Archbishop Duncan Williams and all of that, the person I was mentioning regularly was Apostle General Sam But you've never been to his church before? I've never been. I, I don't know. Never been his congregant? No. Okay. I've never. I've, I, in fact, till I came into the knowledge of what I know now, I didn't even know anybody that was in this church. Okay. Aside my mother, of course. And aside the family. Your mother goes to that church? Used to. He used to go to that mm. church? A very strong pillar. Used to. Oh. So you see, that's what I'm saying. When we talk, people don't... This whole saga, one thing that I don't understand and I don't know if people don't understand, they don't take time to understand what I'm saying, or I was speaking too fast or too slow, so they didn't, they didn't get what I'm saying. They were, they were, people are saying, why all this? So their interest was on the rituals, and why this, why that is not actually what you were saying, but why do you have to be, be cursing something? That yeah, is but, what the, the, the issue is. He, okay, we'll, we'll come to the cases. Mm, mm. <laughs> so, this... It's what I do. This is my field. This is my job. Just like a Christian would pray and will be doing anointing oil and Holy Bible and quoting scripture and communion wine and, and water. And just as Christians would do their rituals in their church. When I pray, I do my rituals. The last time I checked, prayer is a very legal Thing to do in this country. <laughs> I'm allowed to pray. So what you, you saw was just prayer? I was praying. That, that, and you see, anybody that would say a, a thing about what I was doing, then the person is one of the most shallow people I've ever met, or most shallow person I've ever met. Because when you read the scriptures, Abraham cut every piece of animal into two laid in the midst of those animals, offered prayer, the presence of God came to devour all the sacrifice, then Abraham became a great nation. This is in your very Bible. So when they talk about, oh, you're doing, then you should denounce yourself being a Christian because you claim and applaud yourself with the God of Abraham. What do you know about the God of Abraham? God of Abraham is a God of sacrifices. Even your New Testament God killed a human being to save you. Your New Testament God, for him to save you, had to sacrifice Jesus. And you believe in the sacrifice of Jesus to be saved. Human sacrifice. That's another topic for us to talk about. Let's, let's come to the issue. No, we're coming to the issue. So, mm -hmm. what I didn't understand is the fact that I came out, I respect this man, and I still respect him. I respect the office. I respect what he represents. I respect what he does. But what he did, I do not respect. And I have information about what he did. But out of respect for him, I said, this is an awareness I'm creating out there. That something has gone down and it's not a good thing. It's horrible. Ask me, have we tried to reach out? Yes, we have tried to I want, I want to take you to take, take your time. How did you hear this thing about your mother, as you said in the video? And uh, what have you, have you done? Because as you said, you respect everybody mm. on this mm. earth. So even not for anything, his name, his brand, you know how difficult... Yeah, it's very difficult. Is. So if the person gets to that stage and uh, you're speaking about him, you have fathers that you can call so that they'll call him and all that. I don't know how the extent you went that you were so mad that day at the shrine. And that's the thing. I wasn't even mad. Like, okay, so that is your normal you? No, that is me in yeah. prayer. I wasn't angry. Everybody around knows. I wasn't angry. Oh. That's me in prayer. 
One day we had a conversation. I, I tell you, I, I used to be the prayer pastor's prayer pastor. Yo, so-called prayer warrior. I was your prayer warrior's prayer warrior. I'm crazy. I love to pray. I, don't, I still pray. I still speak in tongues. I still pray. I pray all night. I pray all day. I pray. I, I love to pray. And when I'm in prayer, I go all out. So I wasn't angry. I wasn't upset. I was only praying. Right? So this issue, just FYI, has been going on for 22 years. This is not a today issue. This issue is 22 years old. This issue is 22 years old. Then why now? Is it a I, continuous issue that... Uh, because is, uh -huh. what was done is still not lifted. What was done is still active. It's still destroying lives. So, I heard about the issue. Destroying my mother, life like how? You, my mother told me the issue last, around April, May. Because that's when the issue broke up. But it's been happening for 22 years. When I heard it, I was taken aback. I was shocked. I didn't speak about it for about three or four months. Never said a word about it. Never said anything about it because I was in prayer. For four months. For four months. Wondering how to approach this. In that moment, contact had been made to him. He picked the phone. They told him what has happened. And he said, hmm. And he said he was willing to do anything to ensure that the needful is done. The needful had to be, you have to come to my father's shrine. And this is the disrespect of a lot of people I, out there, but I won't even go there. He is supposed to come to your father's shrine. Yes. Wow. To be able to solve the issue. Because we know the magnitude of it. He knows the magnitude of it. And he said, no, he's not going to come to the shrine. Put everything aside. My father is your great-great-grandfather. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. he's not a young person. He's old. And if you don't have respect, that's something I used in the video. I said, my father invited you in. Let's sit down with him. If you don't have respect for anybody, respect my father. He's supposed to a pastor will not go to the shrine. So Pastors go to the shrines. What are you talking about? We know. I'm not talking about a place that I'm, I think I hear say, I know. When they have to do certain things to boost their church and grow their church, that one they will find a way to the shrine. Which part? We know stuff. But come and let's save a life. You say no. Save a life like how? We'll come there. So what I didn't understand is the fact that I told everybody, out of respect for him, because we've tried to make contact. Like I said, an issue for 22 years. We tried to make contact. Refuse it. Even before I came out, I did a voice recording. I did a video recording. Mm -hmm. I did, I sent so many messages. To him. Through a mediator pastor, to him. The pastor is a member of his church. My mother still has his number to date. No, no, the message that you were passing before it hit you, you did a social media, it went through somebody that it's supposed to get the message to him. Somebody right? that is this with him, not just a pastor of the church. This. No, no, but he's, not, he's, he's a person, a pastor of the church. The person is a pastor. But not in the his From church. his church. But he's and no he's there. doing well, very well. So he's but out they now. are still together. Okay. okay. Can, you, can you tell us his name? No, I can't. Again. I'll come out again. Okay. God, this, I st I'm still respecting the man. Okay. I'm still honoring him, honoring so, the work that he's done. So when you told this particular man, you sent this video to that man, you, you, he confirmed that it has, been, it has gotten to him, right? It's got, gotten to him. Okay. He cannot say he doesn't know what we're talking about. And he cannot say he has no clue. Then that would be the first lie. Because he knows what we're talking about. Apostle Genoa is aware of what is happening. When the story broke out, they called him. Uh, I said in the video, the people in this nation that knows this issue, it will shock you. So it's not like the measures hasn't been taking place. We have done. Uh, 
So I had people say, why are you not come out? I dare you to come. I, who are you to dare me? Like, are you kidding me right now? I don't work for you. You don't feed me. I have no idea. I know you. I used to respect you as a journalist. But be, be, when this issue came, I realized how ignorant this person is. Because you are a journalist, right? Mm -hmm. You've heard about the issue. You didn't speak about it. You didn't come mm -hmm. on your platform. You didn't say anything. You called me and said, oh, Sofu, what is going on? This person cannot pretend you don't know how to reach me. So if you're a journalist and if you're not passionate, and if you are not led by whatever reasons why you're led by, and if you are not biased, what a good journalist would do is to research the information, research whatever it is that is being put out there before you come and say. So now I'm asking a question. This journalist that went about going crazy, right? Now I ask the question. If the issue come, comes out, I'm not saying just hypothetically, and the issue is that this so so and so person raped a five year old boy. What would you do as a journalist? Would you not come back and apologize that, oh, I didn't know the truth? I used to respect you as a journalist. What you do is that you investigate the issue, you research into the issue to find out where is this coming from? Who, who are you talking about? I don't even have space for the name. But he knows himself. Because he watched it, so definitely he watched it. And he went to say to another um, archbishop that, oh, and a young man came out and did it, and I've dealt with him. Dealt with who? <laughs> you see, people don't understand. First and foremost, I'm not your regular people that come on social media seeking clout. Person said, oh, these people sitting on social media. If it's not social media, would you have a career? Your entire career is on social media. You got fired. You started your own media on social media. You came onto another platform, still on social media. That's the dumbest thing to say, for you to say people sitting on social media. The entire globe is going on the social medias. Companies are advertising on social media. What the hell are you talking about? It's going from the traditional media that we used to know, radio, TV, and all of that, and now it's on the internet side of things. And because you want a wider audience to listen to you, that's why you sit on social media. So how dare you come and tell me those people sitting on social media? Are you not on social media? Are you not getting monetized by the content you put out there? I don't have any monetization on my content. Okay. We don't take any money. You know how many people reach us? I do for free. I don't. I don't take any money. I don't, there's no monetization. There's not a single content. YouTube sends us um, emails. Oh, can you tune your content this way so we can start paying you? We, we only had 700 subscribers. Why would YouTube come and? It's not possible. It doesn't happen. Why would YouTube come and send me an email? Only 700 subscribers say change your content. We start paying you 700 subscribers. Who gets paid at 700 subscribers? So, for, so tell me, when you heard the media talking this way after watching your video, how do you feel? I'm not moved by what people say. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm not one of them that you, you can say, I dare you to come. You dare who? To come where? To, oh, the Sunday school children in, in his church will deal with you. Your apostle general himself said, I've fought battles. I've engaged things. But this battle is on another level. Your, the Apostle Genoa, you see, he's saying this battle is on another level. In his video, he said it, right? Because he knows what is coming. You are saying what? The God you pray to, the God you pray to, is under Tobi Ima, is under Aminra. Just in case you do not know, you do not read, and you do not know, you do your research, Amin is the God of this entire planet. There's no other God I've ever met. That is why you conclude your prayer with Amen, just in case you didn't know. So Amen is higher than. What do you think is in my neck? You, you, you don't know power. Hmm? So let me, let me ask. So, so when you were trying to reach uh, the Apostle General, you say you've done all the message you sent to him. Did you receive any reply? No. No call. No call. So did, they, did the person send you in, the person you sent give you any feedback? My mother called him. Did he answer? I traveled for three days to the dimensions to talk to the gods. The day I came, that was the day 
Onyamekese. So the first video that was a warning and was said SKA wasn't even me. That morning I called you and you realized that no, this is not a software. You, you remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 call, I spoke to you and the way you were talking, I said, no, no, no. no. Onyamekese ordered that video to be put out because he was coming for him. That's why in the video I said, Tobo Iblan is coming for him. Onyamekese is coming for him. Mama Bate is coming for him. Mama Jagger is coming for him. If you know anything, go and investigate about the energies I've mentioned. Then another thing say it's a criminal offense. Criminal offense to do what? Just in case you think we are dumb. In my entire conversation, I said, if, if, if Apostle General is clean, if Apostle General did not do, let him know. If. Okay. I said if. I know what I'm saying. There was, there was a clause. There no, was a... I said if. I, and people say, uh, one, one of the prophets that doesn't hear from anybody, doesn't even hear from Paracetamon, doesn't have anything, went about and say, oh, eh, 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 eh. if you, God talks to you, uh, if your God, as a prophet, if your God talks to you, uh, your God would have told you and revealed to you what has been done. You put your mouth. So, criminal case, right? Let me read something. I wanted to read something. So, what is a criminal case? Type of criminal offenses. Although there are many different kinds of criminal acts, right? Crime, different kinds of crime. Criminal acts can generally be divided into five. Primary categories are crimes against a person, crimes against property, uh, inchoate crimes, uh, statutory Crimes and financial crimes. Mm. Criminal charges, right? A crime against a person are those that result in a physical or mental harm to another person. They can be divided in two main categories, forms of homicide or violent crimes. Mm. Where the physical harm to another individual is, se is severe that it causes death, a, def uh, a defendant may be charged with any of several types of homicide, including examples, fair degree murder, voluntary manslaughter, um, violent crimes, which are also very severe, includes penalties, crimes against a person, often carries the, uh, the steppers, penalties, assault and battery, arson, child abuse. Child abuse is a criminal offense. Mm -hmm. Child abuse, domestic abuse, kidnapping, rape, or statutory rape. Rape, statutory rape, child abuse is a criminal offense. So which one of the prayers that I did in my church? Because when you went to interview a bishop, a bishop said, when a pastor holds a Bible and preach on the street, the pastor is doing his work. I'm a priest for crying out loud. When I sit in my shrine and I hold my chicken and I offer it, I'm doing my work. Okay. Social media have certain requirements. Let me not even go there. Anyway, so all these crimes, you realize that child abuse is a crime. Rape and statutory rape is also a crime. Sexual molestation is a crime. So if somebody falls under all these charges, that person has committed a crime. You, you, you understand? Mm. None of the things mentioned above did I commit any. Where's the criminal offense? So far. No, no, I want to read something. Okay. Sorry, Continue. sorry. Continue. Don't forget, when we even go to court, we are made to swear by the Bible. Right? When we go to court. I'm not a Christian. I don't swear by the Bible. So if I'm swearing, it's not my libations and stuff like that. that, that. If you are swearing by the Bible, it's not cursing. So, it's subjecting yourself to the authority of the Bible to say that what I'm about to say is truth and truth only. Okay. Right? So when I hold my schnapp and I hold my drinks, I'm saying everything coming out of my mouth is truth and truth only. Okay. And if what I'm saying is wrong, even before it gets out of my shrine, the ghost in my shrine will deal with me. He first said that. First deal with me. But if it's the truth. If it's the truth, the ghost will take it away. What I did that people are terrified. These are only stuff I did to create awareness. Do you know the rituals I do behind scenes? Do you know what we are doing behind the scenes? You are scared of this chicken. You are scared of chicken. 
So if you mention things you do behind the scene, what do you want to mean? No, we pray. We don't sleep. Do you, do you get it? We pray or suffer. I'm trying to read something to you. It says, freedom of religion is the right of a person to choose the religion he or she wishes to follow and to worship without an uh, undue interference, right? Undue interference. This right includes the freedom to change one's religion or the freedom not to practice any religion. In Ghana, this is a right entrenched in Article 21, um, Section 1C of the 1992 Constitution. This provision states that all persons shall have freedom to practice any religion or to manifest such practice. The freedom, the liberty to practice any religion and manifest such practice. Why is it that in this very nation, mm -hmm. when I come to the shrine and I do my practices, you want to deem it evil, demonic, unfit for society. The minute you do that, according to the constitution, you're breaking the, what, lo, the law because you're infringing on my right. So, so the act that happened, I want to know why you say you, you've tried to reach him, you didn't get through to him. Did you try any other means again? How long was this trying to get through to him before you, you came before this the This matter has happened for 22 years. 22 years. Since April, We've been trying to solve this issue since April 2023. We are in January 2024. The first call contact, he was shocked that the truth came out. Because the thing is such that you can never even speak about it. And I know a lot of people behind, they are, they are in a lot of churches, a lot of ministries, and not just a lot of shrines, a lot of priests, a lot of malams have done things for people and have subjected them to never speak about it or they will go man or they will die. So a lot of people are going through a lot of things and are quiet. Are quiet. They can't speak about it because they are afraid because of the threats that comes with it. So this issue was never supposed to come out. But you can't come to this house with anything hidden. The gods will reveal it. You know, so when the truth broke out and the truth breaking out has nothing to do with me. It broke out outside of me. Because I heard the truth after he broke out. Before anybody say, oh, he did a reach out for something. No. Right? We as Ghanaians, we as a people, we are not Christians. We fool ourselves to think we're Christians. We are not Christians. Okay. We are traditional people. This is why we do engagements. This is why we do certain ceremonies. This is why we have festivals. Funerals. We have funeral service. It's following the same cultural way. The same. This is why we have endow watching the naming ceremony. These are not Christian practices. It's in your Bible because they copied from us. These are our traditions. Why are we throwing away the ways of our fathers just to go after the, the programming and the indoctrination of another man's religion? So you did the first video, I saw it on the Instagram. Uh, that was when you say you came from a, tra a travel you did. Mm. You did a second video related to the same thing. And you did a third, a third The video. second video uh -huh. accrued over 2 million views. 2 point something million views. The second video. Are you but, trying but to... you didn't mention his name. No. I, I said Sam K.A. That's what okay. I said. Sam K.A. Right? Still giving a warning. So you can see how many times this thing I've gone. And not warning anything, but creating awareness, lack of a better way. Creating awareness that there's an issue that we need to sit down and talk about out of respect for you. Just because he was not ready to come to, to talk this place for that discussion, we also have to take it out so that he, it will push him to Because come. my father just wanted to sit with you. Then we deal with this issue quietly. Nobody would have heard this. This wouldn't have come this far. Nobody would have heard this. I'm not the type. Also, for a lot of people come to me to do spiritual works. So, for why are you turning this into a spiritual battle? Battle if it's not spiritual. If because if if it has to do with you. No. And the the, only, also for, to, uh, the uh, only reason why issue. I am bringing this thing up Talk to because me. I want you see also for, before you can be. I, I want us to understand why there was the need for you to even be in the shrine. I want to understand that because if it's like, as you're saying, I'm deducing that it's more social. 
in, in terms of what has happened mm. than if it there is even spiritual. So mm. why wouldn't you do it on the social grounds but you, you, you enter your shrine to talk about that? Because what was done, Osofu, mm -hmm. cannot be overturned by any court system. What was done cannot be overturned by any social gathering or social system. Mm -hmm. What was done is a spiritual thing that has been done against this person. And this thing can never be overturned unless a spiritual thing is done. This is why I was in the shrine. So for, then why not you turn it? Who said we are not turning it? But what it is is that you, there's something we call closure. That's what I'm saying. We are working. The thing. Because if we didn't do what we have done, this person would have been dead by now. If we didn't do the work that we're doing now, this person would have literally be dead. Dead. The person wouldn't be alive. The person was literally, or the person is literally designed, or was designed to kill the person alive. I don't want to say things. Relax. Things will come out. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Sofo, is there any battle among the Christian faith? and the traditional faith, because the way you went to the shrine, it is depicting as if you are standing against, you are, you are, you are in battle with some country and his church. And, <laughs> so I, I want to understand, this is a normal uh, thing, I want to get I, it. I saw he, he, he was charging the church congregation to pray. See, I was the only person praying in the shrine, but they put together a whole congregation to pray. Also, for this is not a battle between Christianity and tradition. I employ pastors. Mm. I have pastors working for me. I have Muslims working for me. I am, I'm not at loggerheads or fight with any of his congregation. Mm. This is not a fight between you and the member. This is not a battle between spiritual. You see, spirituality welcomes everything. Spirituality cannot fight nature. You know, spirituality is nature. It's alive. It's everything that you are. So how can spirituality fight against spirituality? It's not possible. It's not a fight. I don't have anything against Christians. You realize, I didn't say there's a battle against Christendom. I haven't mentioned Methodists. I haven't mentioned Pentecost. I haven't mentioned Anglican. I haven't mentioned Catholic. I haven't mentioned ICGC. Or I haven't mentioned your church. This is not a battle between Christians. and No, it's not that kind of thing, right? This is an act that has been done, something that has been done. And it's only unfortunate that the person that did it is a, 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 a high figure in Christendom. It's only unfortunate that it's happened this way. But it's not a battle between the church. I don't have anything against a, your church members. I employ Christians. I don't have anything against you. But let's imagine something, right? Imagine a man. Or let, men are short tempered. So let me use a man. Imagine you're a man. Huh? You tell your wife you're traveling for seven days. You go, something happens, so you come back early. On the third day, instead of the seventh day, you decide to come back. You came to your home, you realize that your senior pastor's car is parked in front of your house. Wondering, maybe your senior pastor has had the revelation, so he's coming to deal with it. You go into the room, your security is shocked that you're back home. And say, hey, master, master, don't go inside. You're like, ah. What is me and prayer? If pastor is here to pray for my wife, why shouldn't I go inside? You finally get inside. They are not in the hall. You go to the kitchen. They are not there. You climb up to your upstairs living room. They are not there. You go to your bedroom. Your senior pastor is on your wife, having sex with your wife, in your bedroom, on your matrimonial bed, wearing your clothes. What would you do? Would you say... Because he's my senior pastor, I won't say anything. I will go and marry my wife. Or you take the office aside and deal with the human being that is committing such an act to your wife. Also, for we are all not innocent. So what do you want to mean? I want to understand. What I mean is, uh -huh. when you meet a human being in the act committing a crime or doing something, you don't say because this is a precedent. Are people not insulting our president? Our president is, is in office. He's way older than most of the young people on the media insulting him. But why? It's because of the office he's, he's occupying and the responsibility that he was supposed to handle and didn't handle. This is why. So what I'm saying, if a human being is caught in an act doing something and 
You see it. You catch the person in an act. What are you going to do? Are you going to say because the person is an imam, because the person is a, is a Christian, is a Buddhist, is what? So I won't do anything because about it. Because he's my head pastor. Okay. You, would, you as a man, you would definitely have something to say about Either it. You will not go to that church again. You, so many ways you will take a it. decision. I get it. But you won't keep quiet about it. What I'm saying is that mm -hmm. an act has been done. Mm -hmm. Child abuse, um, rape. This is an act being done, right? This act, molestation, this act being done, sadly or unsadly, was done by somebody in a very high or a very public figure in the Christendom. We said, come, let's talk. You say you won't come. We send messages to you. Let's talk. You say you won't do. I say, okay, out of respect, I have come. Please, let's talk about it. I don't want to make it public. See, this is about a fault warning. Not warning. I don't want to use the word. This is for a fault awareness. I'm creating a fault awareness. Come. Let's deal with this thing. You say you won't come. Right? In seven days' time, I would come. I won't hold back. And I will say exactly what was done. And I will leave the matter to the court of public opinion. Whatever you think about it, if it was done to you, you can leave it and whatever. Whatever else has to be done, we'll do it behind the scenes. We won't speak about it again. That's it. <laughs> we won't say anything about it behind the scenes. But because of reverence for you, Openi, Mibuwati, I respect you a lot. This is why we don't want to say certain things. You see, we've given so many scenarios. We are by answer for Yebunube, by Yankanasem. Oh, is that how to say? That's how you say. Please, I'm begging you. Let's talk about this behind closed doors. Were you doing what you were doing to get his attention to come? You, to all the things you do in the shrine was it just to catch people's attention that they will be afraid to come and meet you as you're saying? So we don't need attention. You come here. You know we work. We know we are always working. We don't need attention, right? Amen Ra is coming for. Our senior man. If you don't know Amenra, go and read him. Tobi Yubna is coming for our senior man. Onyamekesi, which is the energy, the creator God in this house, huh? the God that is controlling this world now, is coming for you. When these two people are doing their thing, I don't come in. I respect you and I say, you know what? These things are going to happen. It's inevitable. You cannot stop it. There's nothing you can do about it. There's no way you can go that anything can be done about it. So quickly, come. I am the chief high priest of Oyamekesi. My father is the chief high priest of Amenra. Come, let's sit and talk and do the needful so that we beg them. What's the one back? But you don't expect the pastor to come to you and say, okay, you're going to call the girls for you to beg them. Is it, is it, wouldn't the pastor do oh, that? So for these people, they go places. And there's nothing wrong with going places. There's nothing wrong with going to seek help. There's nothing wrong. Because in this life, there are things and there are things, right? So there's nothing wrong with it. So come, let's see. In this house, when you come and you want to meet God, who will help you meet God. We want to meet your ancestors. We will help you meet your ancestors. Come. Let's talk. If you go, I don't care where you go. If you think this and this is what you do to grow your church, do it. Because that, was, that is what will bring solution to your pastors. That's what will bring solution to your members. Everybody is seeking help. So whatever it is you can do to help your church to grow, to increase, do it. I don't talk about my clients. I don't. But whatever will help you succeed and live a good and righteous. You see, the old, why I get upset, is, this is why I'm using upset, is when they go and do wickedness with the thing. So are you, are you insinuating that it's an abuse case, it's a rape case, it's a, I want to, I, I, you will make so many scenarios, I want to know. When this thing comes out next week and we haven't heard anything, hmm? Let me break it down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a criminal case. Oh, okay. But like I said, what has been done 
is beyond the court. The court cannot fix it. And this is not me disrespecting our judiciary system. No, I have value for it. But you see, sometimes when you go to the doctor, the doctor will even tell you, this, go home, go home. This, we cannot do it in the hospital. So what was done is beyond. And we have been able to reverse it. Once you reverse it, as the so-called journalists say, there's something called, no, that's that, that so-called prophet, say there's something called back to sender. As we have reversed the debt that you, in, you invoked onto somebody, it's coming, we have reversed it. It will not come and stay in my house. It will not come and stay in somebody's house. Where do you think it will go? It will go to wherever it came from. Okay, so if he feels that he also has power, there is no power in the world beyond Tobe and Blanc. There's no power in the world beyond Oyamekesi. Anybody can go and check. There's no power beyond Tobe and Blanc. Anybody can go and check. If you are a true spiritualist, if you are a true prophet, if you are a true man of God, there's no power beyond Amen. Go and check. Because I'm not, I'm not, there's no power in is the that, world. Is that, is that how you feel? Or it's not about life? feel. So I can Google right now. Amin was the god of Egypt, right? The ancient god of Egypt. Mm? He empowered them to build a civilization up to date. Scientists and who are you are not able to duplicate what was done there. Everything we see in our world today came from that civilization. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Okay, let's even pretend. There's not a single religion on the face of the earth that doesn't conclude their prayer with Amin. Why do you think you conclude your prayer with Amen? When you read the Bible and you see Lord of Lords, God of Gods, King of Kings, it's referring to Tobi Iblan. It's referring to Amen Ra in your very Bible. He is a creator God. He is a God that created this, manifested everything we have in this existentiality. So which God are you going to? Every single person that came to do Buddha, Krishna, uh, Muhammad, Jesus, all of them came to say one thing. Man, know thyself. When you know thyself, it connects you back to to being black. So from, from today, they're doing this interview Sunday morning. From today to it will, This will be out. Day, mm. Yes, from today. You gave one week, which mm. was up to Monday. Monday. And definitely this video is out on that day mm. i recorded I, i'm recording sunday mm. if it doesn't come even monday definitely you see it on tuesday no it come monday definitely so mm. so i want to know what is the next line if you think this is that serious that's what i'm saying we'll put the second question out awareness out tell us i want you to speak it from we'll put the okay. second awareness out and all you people who have something to say listen i'm not here to <laughs> battle power oh i am powerful i mean i don't have anything as they said, I don't, listen, <laughs> I don't have anything, right? But the energies with me don't play. Oyami Kessel will tell you, I'm on TRC. The MABC got a memo this year, no? I'm on TRC. And I'm speaking it on, it's on record, everybody will know. And December at our Crowder Festival, come and see what I was talking about in January. The MABC no I'm on TRC. So, this is not a battle of power. I don't have anything. Hmm? I'm a vessel. We are all going to die. <laughs> when, my, I, when my time is up, I will die. When my time is up, I will go. When my time is up, I'm done. Hmm? That's why I'm not scared of anything. Death, what is death? We all know. Uh, some of us, we know when we are dying. So forget. But, what is significant? Let's all do right. That's all I'm saying. So, Monday, this video will come out. Second awareness, open it and beg. You see, I'm begging you. I can't kneel for anybody. I'm forbidden to do that. But I'm begging you, let's do behind the scenes. We can still save it. We can say, when we do behind the scenes, huh, we talk. I won't come out and come and speak about this case again. All I will say is that we have spoken. There is peace now. All matters closed. Everything is done. That's it. I won't talk about it again. Whether I was lying or I wasn't lying, whether what I will we'll keep quiet about it, we won't talk about it again. We'll even pretend I am the one lying, I'm the one crazy, I'm not, I don't know anything about it. Just come, let's talk peacefully. I'm, I'm getting calls from some of our members 
um, not we don't even have members, it's a community. In in the UK, it's a funny thing that happened. In the UK, <laughs> called from uh, Royal House, so many calls, accusing the lady that she is the one giving me information to go after Apostle General. I didn't even know the lady was with the church. Several calls, right? Apparently, this lady was, a, was also a pillar, but she hasn't said anything to me. Okay. She, she almost had a heart attack because of all the calls and bombardments we were going through. Do you know what the girls did? They went to arrest a white lady. I've never spoken before. The pictures are there. We can show you the pictures. Went to arrest the lady from her mm -hmm. house or so forth. Mm -hmm. Came to the woman's house, not went in, and said, your ancestor says I should tell you, you are on the right path. Stay there. There's somebody we don't know. They don't know the power that is happening in this year or so forth. Once we talk, I won't come out. If we don't talk next week, I'll, I will say what happened. So you said say, next week, if, if he's still not done the need for mm -hmm. us, you've been saying, mm -hmm. you will come out. Mm -hmm. If Apostle General doesn't see mm -hmm. the family behind the scene, where can he? He see? knows our mother's number. Okay. Ah, he knows the number. So, so you're saying that Apostle is aware of what is happening. He knows. But he has said not to respond. He, is he trying to say that he doesn't know what happened 22 years ago? It's been long. You can forget, right? He hasn't forgotten. Mm -hmm. He was just reminded last April, last April, last year, 2023, April. He was reminded. He said at that time he was willing. Just because we said, Brannant, let come, let's sit at my father's show and talk about it. That is what took him off. Oh. He knows this thing. Listen, he cannot come and say he doesn't know this thing. What are you talking? He knows this thing. Thank you very much. Sovo, is there anything you want to say finally before I bring this to a close, before uh, next week, as you've given one week to this? Sovo, we are not all saints. I am not a saint. Me, I've no, been... Fallible. I've been arrested before. I've been... Uh, uh, I wouldn't say lie. I've been accused before. <laughs> before. Um, there are so many allegations that have been labeled against me before. I'm sure even people watching the video say, ah, you are talking, I'm also coming for you. Come. You understand? We've all been there. We've all done certain dealings that didn't go well with each other. We've all had certain conversations that didn't sit well with each other. We've all, we had a conversation sometime, a private conversation, I'm bringing it public. When people see me, they will say, ah, this guy, he loves women. You remember that conversation? Remember. Do you want me to love men? I don't understand, like, I'm confused. I'm a man. If I'm having any urge to, even reproduction involves a woman. It's not news. I have old interviews that I spoke about the things I did in the past. My life is not news, I don't hide anything. People have supported me financially. People have supported this cause financially. People have done things to push this vision. People come, there was a day one of the, your followers bought us 20 bags of cement. Oh, okay. People come say, I will buy you land. People come say, I will do, I believe in the course you are doing. The gods are saying I should come. We all have these things. Sometimes some will go well, some will not go well. We understand all these things. What I will say, huh? don't take another person's life in your hands to think you have the right to control and use that life. Or threaten that life, threaten the existentiality of that particular life. You didn't create a life. Stop the wickedness. There's one thing somebody laying accusations on you. There's another thing you actually doing the accusations that has been laid upon you. I get it. We all get misunderstood. A lot of people have misunderstood me. Even this when I was talking with my brother, I said, ah, one of the uh, herbalists we were working with, if he had stayed with us, ah, by now we have all grown together. You understand? There are so many mistakes we've all done. There are elders, uh, um, el uh, elder. There are elders that there are misunderstandings. So maybe I was in the wrong, maybe I was in the right. We, we talk about it. But don't go to an extent to take another man's life. And this, is a, this is, should be rather a criminal offense. I heard on the news, some delegate went to meet. Uh, somebody lifted a sword and said, if 
I leave this party, mm, let my son, my firstborn son, die. Nobody said anything about it. Let your, that is a curse you provoked. And they are saying I cursed or or the apostle, I didn't curse him. I, I, I was going to die. Why would I do that? I mean, if you die, what, what, what would I get from it? But you're holding the cock. The, the thing to I say they should go and bring the truth out, not kill him. Kill him for what? If he dies now, how would we know what is there to gain? I Me, mean, I'm all about life. You come here, you see the trees. I don't even cut a tree. Until the tree is, is inevitable, we have to do something there. And the minute that happens, I have to plant another tree there. You, you, you got what I'm saying? Don't take that wickedness to killing a life. It won't end well for you. Let's love ourselves. Let's honor each other. Let's cherish each other. If you wrong somebody, all you can do is apologize. If the person doesn't agree, take it, then that's the person's case. Right? You kill your firstborn child. Did you ask the wife? That is sitting home. Before you went to make the pro because of a political party, you say, if I leave this place, let my firstborn child die. Do you know what will happen tomorrow? Do you know what will happen tomorrow after? Hmm. You are sacrificing your firstborn child because of a political party. What would you sacrifice for your own life? Are you, are you getting hmm. what I'm saying? These are some of the wickedness that I'm here against. I'm against such wickedness and people should revert from it. That's all I have to say. Let's love ourselves, love our country, love our own, love our people. Also, let's live to see a week after today. We have seven day counting. So from today, by Sunday will be the seventh day, which is Monday is also Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday will be the seventh day. So let's see. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I came all the way from uh, Accra. The studios of Nyanza TV straight to Nyamikesi Kroom this Sunday morning. This is a national issue that has really gone far. Let's address it the right way. Bye for now.